Hey, what's up, everybody? The first five minutes of this here video just didn't get recorded. Not sure why, but I'm glad I looked down when I did. So you're going to miss the first five minutes of the video, but I still have the audio. So you're just going to get a overlay, an overlay on the video screen. And you still have the original conversation in your ears. And then the visuals will come back magically. Sorry about that. Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Everyday People, the interesting, quirky, odd, sometimes interesting podcast here on whatever podcast app that you enjoy using. Um, hope y'all doing well. Unbelievable as always sitting here live this time on YouTube, just trying this out. There's still a whole lot more stuff that I need to do on that aspect of getting that production squared away. Um, some things don't work the way I want them to work, you know, because I like doing things a certain way and every package doesn't necessarily customize that way. The right but anyway, way. But, you know, that that's that's one option there. Um, all of that stuff is coming soon. We're going to keep working this out. But if you're here in YouTube right now, you can chat. There's a little chat room over there on the side that and um got something to say feel free to say it if not it's all good we're still going to do whatever the heck we want to do with this show anyway so anyway back to the two of us how you be swell how swell. are you unbelievable this is a different recording time because it's actually 10 23 a.m pacific time and not some evening so the lighting is different there's this my big ass window over there that's casting light on you i didn't flag it off because i didn't think about flagging it off don't care because it still looks fine um we're probably going to get some neighborhood noise such as a garbage truck because it is garbage pickup day but that's okay this is just everyday life and we just roll with it so with all of that out of the way what's been on your brain <laughs> let's see I still got a little bit of road rage going on when I drive, but I will be okay. <laughs> um, That's definitely an everyday thing. I think it is because it's just frustrating that it's there and there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. I can't yell at them to where they can hear me. So it just makes me upset for no reason. But that's only when I have, you know, to go to school. I don't have to go far. Otherwise, have anybody merging. Um, spend some holidays. This this week is full of a, a lot of holidays, right? Something. What Supposedly, is going on? I like, think there's like those presidents or somebody that's recognized. I have no idea. I thought they it, put President's Day all in one. I don't know. But again, at the same time, public school. They just don't go to school as much as we used to. There's always a, I'm a, a out of school holiday. too. <laughs> there's always a <laughs> holiday and there's no class. And so we we look around and see that Hardhead is sitting there in the bedroom at, you know, 8 a.m. when he should have been on his way out the door. And I'm like, there's a holiday. You're like, there's a holiday. Why are they out? But whatever. Well, we're out tomorrow. Oh, um, the JC, you're out uh, yeah. again on a Thursday, just a random Thursday. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's somebody's <laughs> birthday. It's a holiday. It's something know. going on. I don't know. Let's but see. I, what is February 15th holiday? February. Oh, right? and it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. What national holiday is on February 15th? It says Singles Awareness Day. That's what <laughs> That is not. I'm dead is. serious. That's this what it says on the screen. Like, it's a teacher work day for the teachers to, you know, work and drink at school where the students are not there or something. This, that is the first <laughs> thing that pops up when I search February 15th holiday in Google. It's not even a holiday. <laughs> it's a single awareness day. <laughs> well, to all you singles oh, out gosh. there, 
God bless you, because <laughs> I would not want to be single if I did not want to be single right now. If you didn't want to be. Yeah, if you didn't want thing. to be. Yeah. If that's you didn't want thing. to be, because there's so many people out there that are single and love being single and other people don't feel like they should love being single because they don't love being single themselves. Yeah. But and then they put all of their feelings on other people who are single and love being single. And that's not right. You know, it's pretty freaking narcissists, if you ask. Me. Yeah. You're supposed to be upset because you're single. You're supposed <laughs> to be sad because you're single. You need a man. You need a woman. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. It's like that. Even now, I, I get a lot of guests talking about. Oh, my goodness. It's ew, so many things. I just wish that you guys I'm going to have to start telling y'all some of these stories that I get from my people. Well, you can still tell them, you know, because you can tell them um, I don't have to anonymously. Say their names. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you don't have to say their name. I mean, it can happen to anybody. Yeah. Uh, it is a public venue, you know, but mm-hmm. yeah, you just don't have to say their name. You don't necessarily have to say what day it happened on, you know, because that could pinpoint stuff, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, there's ways of doing this stuff. But this week also was a Lunar New Year. Or lunar, yeah, that's true. Lunar New Year, yeah. Well, at what work they just say straight up Chinese New Year, yeah. So, with that, I heard some of my guests are Filipino, Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a huge Asian population, and I heard one guest ask, uh one of our employees if it was their Chinese New Year too but they're Japanese and they said no <laughs> it's <laughs> no wait 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 she was and they said no it's not mine but my co-worker uh-huh. is not Chinese but it's her New Year she celebrates it Okay. So, you know, well, that's the thing. We, we don't know the intricacies of it because number one, we Americans, we are so freaking self-centered. We don't care about other folks holidays. I do. Cause it's curious. You no, know, I'm it's just curious. saying that tongue in cheek. We, yeah. we don't, no, we, we don't not. care about other people's cultures and especially holidays. if it don't have anything to do with us or anything to do with us making more money. <laughs> that's just that. how we are. But so, uh, so your coworker, they have, some they're, sort of Chinese New Year, but they're not Chinese. Can you explain that? Well, yeah, my coworker is Vietnamese and she's she just celebrates it as the New Year. She's like, you know, it's my New Year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then and so I talked to some other guests because I, I like to ask questions um, that was Filipino. And they said, no, it's not necessarily their new year but they have always looked at it as a good luck time okay you know good luck for and then and their that's, and, and that's so fair. and i mean we do that well now that i know about it and been working around it um i look at it as good luck time too this year the dragon and one of my guests told me she's mixed she was uh chinese and vietnamese mm-hmm can you imagine knowing both of those languages <laughs> um, and English fluently? Well, I, I do think about stuff like that very often, considering the rest of the world takes the time to learn multiple languages over here. It's just sort of like, all right, we need you to take Spanish or French or what have you in high school. And just that's sort of the end of it. The rest of the world is like, no, we need you to know English and no German or what have you. And all of those people over there in Europe and Asia, or what have you, they could speak fluently regardless of who you are. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's just ingrained in their, in their cultures, if you will. You I'm know. mad that I didn't learn more Vietnamese when I had the opportunity. My brain was still fresh. Yeah. I, I really do. And I hate that I didn't know what I know now when raising our boys. Mm. I would have loved for all of us to have been bilingual fluently, yeah. you know, because they are. I you speak in Viet, you can speak Vietnamese, Chinese, English. 
some people know uh, more than that. Yeah. Especially yeah. the hosts that work over there. They know several different Asian languages. Yeah. Korean and all of that stuff. It, it, I have my struggles with it. I'm still trying to learn Spanish, you know, thanks to the wonders of Duolingo and tech and whatnot. Um, and it's helping because I'll say this. I'm not necessarily looking to go out there and speak it, but... I do want to be able to understand it considering where we are, the, mm -hmm. you know, the huge um, Spanish population here, whether Mexican or, or what have you, or Honduras, whatever. And you go out to pump gas and you hear the conversations, you know, um, if someone is calling me out my name, I want to be able to recognize that <laughs> and hear that, you know, not granted, that's not going to happen. That, that's, I mean, I'm not going to assume that. Oh, okay. Granted, I'm not going to assume that's going to happen, but it's nice to know and be able to pick up on certain um, terminology when I'm out there at the grocery store or whatever. Just it's, it's it, I'm getting it slowly, mm -hmm. but surely, but it's, I still need more time. I've only been doing this Duolingo stuff for about a year now. So Just know that a lot of this stuff is similar because mm. <laughs> I was working at that one job during COVID mm. and I heard Negrita. Yeah. That made my ears perk up. Yeah. Yeah. You got <laughs> and he's like, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Who you talking about? I know <laughs> Negrita, that sounds like something to do with a black and Negrita. I'm thinking of girl, woman, something like that. I didn't know. But when yeah. I heard that, I looked because I know a little bit and you could sort of put it together. Yeah. Some of the words. Yeah. Um, but there was no English, uh, no English. Mm -hmm. So it it made me think that I was being talked about because I was the only right negrita looking person there. <laughs> <laughs> negrita. Yeah. And it might be a term of endearment. It might not. Uh, I never they, looked it up. Or they could have just been talking about the brown shirt that was in there on the right. Neg Negro is black. <laughs> Okay, the That's black the shirt. Okay. The black shirt that was in there. Sure. Who knows? <laughs> you know, but again, if, if once we take the time to try to learn that stuff. We'll know more. Learn that language. We'll, we'll know. I'm and, too old. And know the context of stuff. You know, I'm also looking at Chinese on Duolingo and it's hard. Um, what's the only thing? Well, I shouldn't say the only thing. The one thing that's hard about it for me is the symbols, the, the, the alphabet or what have you. They're they're a lot of them is so similar, you know, at least with with us in the English alphabet, a B can't be confused with an L. Mm -hmm. You know, an, mm -hmm. an, an A can't be confused with the M or what have you. Sure, a V could be confused with a U. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that can happen, but man, that the stuff in the in the Chinese side, it's all of those symbols, they're very, very, very similar. And it could be just one stroke that's different. Wow. And, you know, but then as far as hearing it, it, it's it's starting to come a little bit better to me, too. But I got to spend more time on that. I haven't spent this, as much time on that as I have with the Spanish stuff. Um, you folks out there listening, are you all doing foreign languages in your later years in life? Um, did you get into it in high school, college or what have you, or did you decide to pick up something else? I know a lot of you folks that listen to the show are pretty freaking smart, way smarter than the two of us. And you probably got your kids <laughs> signed up to do it, to learn these foreign languages too. You mm -hmm. probably did that. Probably came out the womb knowing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Mine do know a couple of languages. I know they know some Ebonics. Yeah. And they know how to speak properly. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and I think that's something that should be brought up because there is a thing called black English. Yes. You know, and I think a lot of people uh, where we're from tend to look over that and and sort of recognize it as something, recognize it as Ebonics with a negative connotation, mm. you know, but. There is a legit black English. I think and, so. And um, it it's fascinating when you dig into it. I used to listen to um, this linguist, um, 
dang, now I forgot his name, but he's he's from here in Berkeley. Oh gosh, what's the dude's name? But he's here. He's here in Berkeley, and I've listened to a couple of his books, and it's fascinating how he just dives into language from all over the world, and then he really broke down. I think the last book I listened to was called Talking Black, Talking Back, something like that. What was his name? Damn it! I just anyway. I'll find it, put it in show notes. It was really good. It's worth the listen if you can get it on the audible anyway, uh, to be able to hear the enunciation, you know, to go along with, with the explanation on where all of that stuff came from. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so what were your thoughts on um, the Super Bowl? Because I know you just love football. <laughs> that look on your face. I was so so, so happy with the football show at halftime. Football show at halftime. <laughs> it was so much fun. Tell me you, me you don't watch football without telling me you don't watch football. <laughs> <laughs> I I do. I used to really, really watch college football. You know, yeah. it was over there where it's live yeah. and fun. Yeah. And um, people don't look at you sideways for being loud. But yeah, I don't really care mm. about that like that anymore. I mean, I watch it when you guys are watching it, but yeah. the I was waiting. I literally was waiting for Usher. I didn't know all of the extras were going to be in there. I didn't know we were going to have her. Didn't know Alicia Keys. Didn't know um, <laughs> Lil John. <laughs> I had seen rumors about I, Ludacris. I didn't know, but Ludacris I didn't. But either. I didn't see rumors or anything about Alicia Keys or Little John or any of that. Mm-hmm. But I did see the rumors about Ludacris. But. It was a really nice surprise, and I, I, I still hear him because you know how badly I want to live in Atlanta mm-hmm. um, one day, or at least have a house there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I love. When we visited there, I just love as, how it's so many different people, mm-hmm. different types of people, different backgrounds of people in a place. And mm-hmm. I don't feel like you're you, you can't be really off or different. You're different. It's fine. If mm-hmm. that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so when I heard Usher at the end of it, because everything about it, even the strippers on the poles, well, I don't know if they were strippers, but they <laughs> look like stripper poles to you, me. You assume they were strippers. They were just um, gymnasts. What they is, were gymnasts on a pole dancing. <laughs> 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 With the strength in their legs, I wish, I think in another life, I was a dancer on a pole, mm-hmm. strong legs and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and all of that I'm watching, I really do see Atlanta. I did. And then for Usher to say it, I bought the, we bought the world to the A. Yeah. Oh, uh, it just, it just made me so warm and tingly inside because it's the, that's the east coast it's the southern mm-hmm. southern part where you know we are from and yeah. when I, I'm there and I listened to all the music and I felt at home knowing the songs and remember where I was when the albums came out mm-hmm. and it was just really nice and mm-hmm. I felt like I told you I'm like if you ain't proud to be black right now mm-hmm. I don't know what you proud to be of. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're supposed to be proud to be black if you're black mm-hmm. all the time, but I was hella proud to be black that night. And from the South. It, it was a hell of a show. It was a hell of a performance by him and the whole team putting that stuff together. Yes. Um, it's again, it's one of these performances that's going to be talked about for years to come regarding the Super Bowl. And, and I like you, I enjoy just the trip down memory lane and, and just marveled at, you know, this cat's our age. The band. You know, this cat's our age. Mm. And out there just doing what he do. And you know? loving it. And and yet the two of us, you tell us to go out here and run a lap around the track, we probably croak at about 100 meters in. <laughs> just the first few moves that Usher did, I was exhausted. But I, he's I mean, out there on roller skates yes! and, and all that, and that that's that's that stuff. 
You, you got to give it up for that. He, he does he, not look any different to me. He did it. He right. He did not look any different at all. And you got to give him the credit there. It was a really good show. I felt bad for Alicia Keys for half a second because she her voice started out just a touch shaky. Yeah. But she's still Alicia Keys. She's, Nobody yeah. cares. No. Know? I I mean, everyone has a moment, I think, in their history, especially you're singing live. Yeah. And yeah. It's just like a about like a comedian, you know, you you're gonna have a you're gonna bomb. You know, mm-hmm. gonna, but I don't think she bombed. No, I she think it was bomb. just like, you know, just, it's life. Yeah, I it's, think that's just the equivalent of, of a comedian bomb. And is there, you know, your voice goes wonky for a minute in a song mm-hmm. or you just stutter. Maybe it's like that. But or, or that yeah. I wasn't. I mean, it it, it it was there and then it was gone. You know, it was just a beautiful right. show. Right. I think it goes down to history and it was the the band we were talking you were talking about the band. Yeah, I still don't know who that band was. If someone knows who that band was, please feel free to let us know. I'm curious if it was a HBCU. I didn't hear that part cuz I don't know if they were HBCU, but I will say they looked <laughs> like HBCU. They looked like it HBCU. Did. They sounded like HBCU and mm-hmm. mood like HBCU. So if it walks like a duck, mm, quacks, talks walks like a duck, it's a chicken. <laughs> <What is> she- <laughs> I'm just curious. I'll have to do some more research. They sound really good. Yeah. It just made me think of home when I think of home. I think of a place that's live and lovely. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, that and and some other stuff. Max Maximilian Schaefer, hey you guys, he says in the chat. Hey Hi. guys, hope you're doing fine. Thank you very much. Appreciate you being here uh, on the uh, live stream. Um, one more thing about the Super Bowl that I wanted to touch on is just the whole. What are you whispering over there? I'm trying to figure out Maximilian. Is that my classmate? Is I, it on? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But I appreciate you thinking it aloud about that. I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> in you. In the middle of my sorry. thoughts. You know? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> anyway, as I was trying to say, I was thinking about what happened with Usher in that halftime. And it made me go back down memory lane regarding the Super Bowl and some of the previous halftimes. And... There's two that came to mind in particular. Well, actually, there's three, but two that, you know, that were more recent. All right. The first one, yes, Whitney Houston, but that wasn't halftime. That was the um, national anthem and that shit. And she, it, I swear to this day, you play that right now, it will make me tear up every single time. And I, I can try to fight it and. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it will make me just tear up in a minute mm-hmm. nobody is singing like she sings that song rest in peace but then the other things were, were actual halftime first one timberlake and janet jackson oh yeah <laughs> that event i missed it too i didn't miss it i know you did <laughs> I think I had dozed off or something because we were at the beach. Yeah, we were at the beach. I remember it very vividly. Of course you do. The Patriots game. (laughs) Patriots game. We were at the Radisson down in Myrtle Beach. Living large. Quote, Mm -hmm. quote, unquote. Living large. And that happened and I'm like, I want to rewind it. And of course, you can't rewind Rewinding live t- TV. <laughs> and you looking at me sideways because, you again, you were half asleep. Mm-hmm. You woke me up like, what's that? And just- I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, dude, I just, oh, you know, that's, that's just my dreams have come true. I've seen Janet Jackson's boobs, you know, just. I what? didn't see anything. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. And then the other one was Prince. When he did his performance at halftime and played all of his hits, the dude is a freaking unbelievable uh, artist on many levels. You know, could sing and play all of these gazillion instruments that he taught himself how to play it. Uh, mm. Just just next level. And, you know, of course, one of my favorite tracks is Purple Rain. And he performed Purple Rain because, you know, everybody loves Purple Rain. Pretty much. But it freaking rained. It rained. As soon as he started singing Purple Rain outside, outside. of that football game. 
Yeah, not inside where they can make sprinkles. Right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's that's pretty things that make badass. you go, hmm. That, hmm. that dude, he 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 was he was on another level on so many things. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't forget about we are the world. Michael Jackson halftime. Yeah, um, that the, one. I don't know that one. It, that that's still monumental, but. It didn't. I mean, that was I was a kid. You know, we were, that was in the eighties, mm-hmm. and we were young. I will still remember all of the whole stands changing yeah. to something. Yeah, how you could get that to happen. Yeah, that. Yeah, that was, back then it had to be really difficult to coordinate that. It's so much easier to coordinate stuff like that now. Now, nowadays. yeah, but that was that was mind was blowing. Yeah, but it didn't really hit me the way this other stuff did. I guess it's because older yeah you know and semi-refined who knows and watching Whitney Houston sing it, it was just like so effortless is she singing the brave and she's just smiling and yeah not even breathing hard just nothing. <laughs> just, just smiling in the words just ridiculously skilled I remember showing remember when we showed showed her to, to, to Jake a couple of years ago because you know these younger kids they talk about different artists that are out there now singing because R and B in my opinion today is like few and far between. I don't think they make it. I mean, right. I did. Exactly. Cause what Spotify will pull up for me to listen to and it's labeled R and B. And I'm like, this doesn't really sound like R and B. It just sounds sort of computerized mumble rap with the little hum to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that kind of thing. They don't make R and B anymore. I don't um, think. But there are people out there that, you know, our kids will say, yeah, so-and-so can sing. And I'm like, no, nah, they, they can't sing. <laughs> that, <that's> not, <laughs> no, they can't sing. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, what else on your brain? I had to get that off my chest. Super Bowl. Yeah, it just it was moving. It was moving. Now, it, it sucks that it that it's the end of the season. Oh, you know, yeah, you know, I know. Now, now we start that whole seven month depression of mine. I where, know. Where I have to actually deal with my family and shit like that. It's, I know. Just, We're excited. We have so many things lined up for no, you. That's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> Every I thought about that. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no more football season after the last showdown. Like it hurts. Oh my god. I guess now it's time for basketball. Is that how it works? Well, there's basketball for the um for college and pros that's going on. Um I'll watch it. I'm I, I really need to try to watch the pro basketball game more nowadays, uh, considering some of the stuff that I want to do professionally. Um but I, I do need to watch the pro basketball game a little bit more and try to latch on to the local team, especially since the local team is good and mm. got and have a Hall of Famer on it, you know, future Hall of Famer on it. I should probably watch them more, but I don't. The NBA game just hasn't really done anything for me. It's just um it's not the same. Um and the same can go with football too. They've changed football from a rule standpoint out of the so called effort of protecting the players. You know, it, it's there's so many tackles that are called penalties in football. And I'm like, he just did his job. But these guys are getting fined for tackling too hard, mm. uh. too hard. It's it's a violent game. It just I mean, granted, you're not supposed to go out there and kick somebody in the head or nothing or kick them in the nuts and stuff like that. But it, it's it's interesting. And basketball is the same way. Mm. And I think about. God, I sound like an old man saying this, but I think about people like Dennis Rodman. Mm-hmm. Dennis Rodman was not the biggest dude on the court. He looked like it. No, he, <laughs> he played like it. he wasn't. I mean, he was like six, eight, mm-hmm. you know, but then you'd have people like Shaquille O'Neal that were, you know, six, ten, seven foot tall and other people, Kareem, seven foot tall. And, you know, but Dennis Rodman would play against these big dudes like he was their same size and it was all because of how physical he was, mm-hmm. you know, and he didn't care about how many points he scored because he didn't score a lot of points, but he was just relentless as far as 
If someone missed the shot and the ball is coming out for the rebound, that was his ball. Mm-mm. He didn't care who it was. That's my ball. I'm going to go get it. And it's just something you don't really see it that much in today's pro game. You know, I look at LeBron James and this dude is a freak of nature. And he's damn near 40 years old and still playing wow. and killing people. Michael Jordan was damn near 40 years old when he came back to play. And he did all right. He still was dropping 30 something points on people, but it was a different game back then. Those mm-hmm. other players were still pretty freaking tough, you know, and they still tried to beat him up. I don't see people doing that to LeBron, you know. Do you remember that play in the Super Bowl where I I thought I saw one of those players from one of the red teams to the player, the other red team. And he looked like he was, instead of tackling him, he, like he was trying to scare him. <laughs> Do you remember? He he stopped. Yeah. He um, was getting yeah, up. That was, right in the, that was on that last drive too, I believe, if I'm thinking right. He's, he is like, he got up to him and then he, he stopped. I'm like, was, was he supposed to scare him and to stop running? <laughs> well, the thing is, none of that matters because that team won. So, this, the had one they, that tried to scare him. Yeah, had they lost, then yeah, that would be in that conspiracy theory stuff. Oh. You know what I mean? But they won. The Chiefs no. won. So, because a couple of years ago, well, not a couple, but a handful of years ago, back when the Panthers were playing the Denver Broncos, Cam Newton was scrutinized because the Panthers lost that Super Bowl. And he had a couple interesting looking plays, one including where the ball was fumbled. And he didn't really dive after the ball to go get it. He just sort of backed up. Mm. Mm. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. This is the last game of the year for all of the marbles. And your big 250 pound ass mm. don't want to go down there and get, get the, the ball. Because oh. it's not like he's a small dude either. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Hmm. Yeah, but don't get me wrong. I like Cam Newton. I'm starting to like Cam Newton more and more nowadays. I was all about Kim Newton when I was a Panther uh, supporter. Yeah. yeah you, <laughs> like he said, you fan. Yeah, you, you, yeah, I guess you can say we did support them because they were the local team. They, yeah. They definitely wasn't like. We did as long as we could. Definitely wasn't like fans. It's just, it was such a different environment. You know, granted, we went to a crap ton of games. Excuse me. <coughs> crap ton of games. At that stadium, but it wasn't to see them. Most of the time, we was going to see Clemson play. Yeah, in that stadium. Um, yeah. Anyway, but sorry for coughing into the mic. <clears throat> oh. Um, other than that, this week it's it's Wednesday. It's the rain is coming back. I went to acupuncture twice yesterday. Oh, what the? Why are you going to acupuncture? You're you're as healthy as a horse. Old woman falling apart. My body, my back and my neck are like 80 something years old. <laughs> Everything else is my age, but those have jumped the gun. And I wonder now if I even, I don't even know, but I just know it was so much pain from working. Mm-hmm. It got to the point where, you know, holding my head over just for a few seconds, it started just to burn. Because yeah. I've been so busy all weekend. It was busy this weekend at work. All right. And I have pedi- busy, busy pedicure, pedicure, okay. pedicure, 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 yeah. pedicure. And I don't know how to do my job a half-assed way. I've tried. Wait a minute. People do their jobs half-assed these days? Are you serious? Uh, Yeah. I've tried. I've tried to get on the bandwagon to do it half-assed. I have tried to leave behind dead skin. I have tried to leave behind <laughs> just the the disgusting parts of the cuticle that I see, but I don't have to necessarily get, but I just cannot do it. Number one, I'm a black woman. Mm -hmm. My work is scrutinized Mm -hmm. a a whole lot more than my coworkers Mm -hmm. because like some of my guests tell me, I've never seen, I've never seen, I have to finish their sentence. What a black woman do nails. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes yes i never seen i never seen it i never seen it before i never seen it before and i know that that's what they, they're going to say every time <laughs> they're sitting down um 
I I I never see. I I never see. What a black woman do nails? Yes, yes, I do. I see beneath. I don't see. I say, well, I'm you're, you're in good hands. So from that point on, when they see me, my black ass calling their name, yeah, I'm automatically they're gonna be watching everything that I do. Mm-hmm. So I can't half ass. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to do everything and and I'm going to do the job like I'm supposed to. And I put my body in it to it because I have to. But good googly muggly does it hurt later. Um, And my neck was burning so bad. I have so much inflammation and acupuncture works for me. Um, And I went through my doctor for the first part and the lady said she, she could only do my neck. Yeah. There's always some type of stipulations when you do, but it's not supposed to be whatever, you know, it's all corporate bullshit. So anyway. I had to go to, I did that and then made an appointment with someone else to go in the afternoon. And she filled up my back with needles and, and electro. She did some stem work back there and everything, mm-hmm. you know, and it helped a lot. But now the rain is going to be coming back. Hopefully it's not an atmospheric river rain. No, but we're probably going to get about six inches is the last report that I saw over the next three, three days. Or three so. days. Yeah. So it's still going to be a lot of rain. My mud boots are coming today. Thank goodness. We all need some. <laughs> well, <laughs> the do- <laughs> well, you can go get your little $20 pair of mud boots Shoot, like I the did. Dogs need some mud boots in that back pond. Yeah, it's not in the backyard at this point. It's not so sad, but that, you know, just getting ready for the I had weekend. A, I had a question for you. This 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 just popped in my head. If you were to advise anyone that's in, you know, that's in the field that you're in doing the manicurist uh, profession, are you do you have any advice for people trying to do self-care or any type of preventative care or 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 um, recovery? Because what you guys are doing, especially when you're dealing with with the pedicure side of things, it's a pretty vigorous action with the filing and, and so forth. And if you just stand here with the daggone remote control and just do that for 30 seconds straight, you will eventually feel a little bit of a burn and your tricep and your shoulders and stuff like that. And this is just, you know, a couple of ounces or not a, a gram. Right. So when it comes to doing something like that for five, six, eight hours in a day, have you ever thought about some type of regimen or anything? Because when I, I'm a photographer and when I know I'm getting ready to go shoot one of these games, I will warm up. I will drop and do some push-ups, uh, I'll do stretches and you know I've I've been you know people have laughed at me before or what have you cuz I hear it cuz they see you know the only black dude here in the county is that with the camera he's out there doing push-ups why he's just holding the camera yeah hold these cameras for mm. 3 hours and let me know how your arms are going to feel but I'll do push-ups and I'll do stuff with my wrists and forearms and stuff like that cuz it, it takes a toll just just standing there, you know, even if even though I have equipment, you know, I have neck straps and stuff to try to help alleviate and all of that. And it does help with that. Even just using a monopod where it is the camera sitting on a monopod, it still takes an effort for me to make sure I'm still keeping everything stable and so forth. But I think it's difficult for me because I'm taller than my coworkers. So things are not. Mm-hmm. As close to me as they are to them. Mm-hmm. And my legs are longer, so I can't get to the feet mm-hmm. by keeping my legs together. I have to open my legs to to be around the chair so that I can get closer. Mm-hmm. And when I try to raise it up, I can't really see the feet because it's like this. Mm-hmm. So as far as exercises before, no. That's that was a question and stretches and things yeah, come like on, that. <laughs> the I do try the Shigong. I don't go through the whole exercise of Shigong, but it's a Chinese exercise that mm-hmm. they um the acupun the acupuncture is suggested that I do and it just keeps everything moving. Mm-hmm. 
it's not rigorous where I'm going to be sore after mm. doing the Qigong exercises. And it's a lot like the same warm up exercises that we used for in acting mm-hmm. where we just you're doing the twisting, but you're just letting your arms float. Nice work. Letting that's, your that's arm, letting you can, your, you can keep that mic nice and close though. <laughs> you can pull it closer. Let, letting your arms flow so that you can get a little stretch in your lower back. But in 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 my wrists, I can stretch these too. But I'm so my I I, I can overextend easily without feeling it. Mm-hmm. And I have held a leg in my hand mm-hmm. and. And it'll bring this part down and I don't even realize it. And I'm still under Mm. doing this, you Mm. know, like filing the bottoms of the heels or whatnot. Mm. And that's the part. I don't feel it then, but I will later Mm. because it'll go my body. If you push it that far, it'll go. Yeah. Um, They call it double jointed. Yeah. I don't think that's the name, proper name, but um, that's not been a good thing for me. (laughs) So I don't know what I can do. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like the zero gravity chairs more. Mm-hmm. Um, pedicure chairs. That's where you sit in. It looks like a recliner somewhat. And when you sit in it, you push the button and it sen- sends the head back and the feet up that way. The feet are in your face more. You don't have to do a whole lot of that. It's the bend, mm-hmm. it's the awkward bend that hurts for an hour. Mm-hmm. Every time you're doing this, for an hour yeah stand up clean up and then you're back in the seat for an hour again stand up clean up then you're back in the seat for an hour that's a workout it is that's 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 some serious like legit labor it is and it's very difficult and i feel it's not good for us and massage therapists good god i don't i don't know um but this is my industry this is what i chose to do and they're like well you find something else to do Mm -hmm. um I went to school for this. Yeah. I spent money to go to school to and, do this. This is one of my dreams to do. And, and still I'm, being licensed each year, you know? So yeah. yeah, this is, this is your gig. I respect that. But, and I got to get ready to go to this gig. Oh yeah. It is about that time. Um, one last thing before we get out of here. Um, I was thinking, <laughs> thinking again about a previous conversation and it's basically just looking back at some of the stuff of, um, of your or back in the days with us and things that we cared about versus what other people don't care about now. You know, we previously talked about how I get addressed as Mr. Pruitt. And Mm -hmm. other folks don't, (laughs) you know, we previously, we previously talked about that, but uh, we were talking about going to the movies and singing the color purple Mm -hmm. and you were wanting to, to wear this and that and so on and so forth. And dude, I remember thinking, I, I just want to go see the movie, you know, but you're like, I want to wear this. I want to make sure I have this on. And you were really just all gussied up to go to the movie theater. And I started to think that nobody does this anymore. But that led me to think about some other things that my mom used to yell at me about. Remember thank you notes? Oh, yes. Thank you notes. You know, my mom, whenever... Whenever we would get like birthday birthday presents or something from from whomever, my mom used to be like, "You need to send them a thank you note." <laughs> you know, and the thing is, it's not a bad idea, but you you just don't see it anymore. No. And I and and <laughs> when it's when one of those scouts, actually one of the coaches at Fresno State, had sent Jacob a. Uh, a birthday card yeah they sent jacob a birthday card and we sort of both knew uh, he didn't really have to do that nor did he really mean it because it's just data did you <laughs> make jacob send i a- said i said look if anything just acknowledge you got it just shoot him a text say hey got the mail appreciate it just leave it at that you ain't got to go on and on and on and that's all he needed to do but <laughs> well, at least you didn't make him sit down and write. But I didn't note. make him write a, a, a freaking thank you note. Put it in an envelope. 
stick a stamp on it, <laughs> put it in the mail. Like that was serious I business. Know. And I, I wonder if it that. was everybody. I don't know, but my but my they moms, must still do it because they sell cards out here. They still sell packs. cards. Yes. Now one more thing: you go to a hotel. Just think back ten years ago. You go to a hotel, you put your stuff, your, your luggage down or whatever, and you got the the, the nightstand and whatnot. You open the drawer and it's got the Bible in it. Mm-hmm. it. Depending on what state you're in, it's got the Bible in it. But then there's also the pen and mm-hmm. the stationery. <laughs> Why did they have that? Are you, Thank you. Know. Are you writing notes to send back to the house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's for. <laughs> I never thought about that. No, you're supposed to have it right there by the phone so you could take notes if you're trying to get directions okay. somewhere. All right, that makes or sense. Or telephone numbers, or if you calling down the room okay. service, that and makes more you sense. You want to write down that you got David's name. Okay. I mean, David took your order right there, so you know if you come back, maybe that's. That's okay. what it is. All right. Well, that 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 makes more sense. But I was like, why would we have stationery here with the Bible to draw to draft the letter to send back to the house? Hey, family, I, I made it to, <laughs> <laughs> I made it to to wherever to to I don't know, um, Medford, Texas, <laughs> here for the send you for a the letter. brisket contest. No, nah, they had safe. Some, the uh, what's your little cards? Do they um postcards? Yeah, they, those had, are they more, had those in there too. Yeah, I'm like, really? We're, we're we're sending postcards on our vacation. Do you know how much of an effort it is? <laughs> yes, it is to go and send something through the post. It is. You know, if you're on you, vacation, you're, you're taking. Yeah, taking it's hard to time. do it if you're not on vacation. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I, I need a deadline, please. Man, if you want me to send something. Give me a deadline and I might make it. I remember seeing that stuff. And now this, my last trip when I went to CES, I looked for it. None of that stuff was there. The the Bible wasn't in there, but then again, it is Sin City. So they probably don't have the Bible in no, Vegas. And they don't want to mess with any more But trees. there was no pins, none of that stuff there. And I was like, I guess times have changed. Phyllis Hauser pops into the chat, uh, speaking about your conversation. Um, my dentist and hygienist also have back problems from bending over patients for many hours each day. Yeah, that makes a ton mm-hmm. of sense. Ton of sense. This next, those necks, we use them in our heads. I realized in my last acting class, my intro to acting class, how heavy our heads are. Yeah. How heavy, like if you just lay down on the floor, mm. get some, if you haven't done it, Get a family member to tell them to lay down on the floor and then just go limp and t- and pick up their head. Yeah. Just lift it up. Yeah, it's a couple of pounds. It's seriously heavy. Depending on how smart you are, it's a couple of pounds. Well, mine is not. <laughs> well, mine might not be as heavy as yours. <laughs> The heavy headed one. Or the- <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's that's business like that for yeah. hours. And it starts to burn in which I mean I got some degeneration stuff going on in there, but this is ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Well we're gonna let let you get ready to head up out of here so you can go make that cash. And um I appreciate you making that cash. I made a little bit of money this week with my work. But yes, I appreciate you making yeah. that money. Y'all keep watching us, subscribing to us, sharing the experience. And if you have anything that you want us to talk about, like you said before, please send us messages. Yeah. We will discuss it. Yeah. And we love the, to talk about it. Thanks for the feedback from Joe. Um, I, I got the message. It was the audio file. <clears throat> Excuse me. Audio file. And that's fine if you want to send an audio file in for me to listen to. But Joe pretty much agreed with what we were talking about with the transgender stuff and didn't see anything on the line. So thank you for the support. Thank you for everybody um, checking out the other episodes that I recorded prior to the Super Bowl and um, live streaming and all of that good stuff. Many of you have asked, how can you support this show? You know, or or. Hey, Ant, why don't you start a Patreon or something like that? Okay, well, let me do the quick spiel on supporting the show. A couple ways. First, you can like, share, and subscribe. Second, um, you can go to uh, antperuit.com slash Amazon and just do your Amazon shopping through that link because that helps 
sends us a little couple cents of commission. Uh, next, you can go to Patreon. I've set up a Patreon there and contribute once a month to that. I think it's five bucks if you want to. That's the only tier that I have right now. I may put another tier out there with some of the perks. Don't know yet. Haven't figured it out, but we do have a Patreon page. So that's antpruitt.com slash Patreon. And, um, but yeah, the main thing folks is just keep telling everybody about the show, just sharing it out. Keep listening. Because again, I am going to monetize this show. And, uh, but yeah, that is it. We're going to get on up out of here. Thank you all for all of the support. We shall see you all next time. Deuces. Peace.